Good morning, children. So today, in English uh, language, I will start with the new chapter, chapter one uh, sentences. Okay, kinds and transformation of sentences. However, uh, now for now, we will just be doing the uh, sentences. I'll just explain the sentences and the kinds of sentences. Okay, this part we will do it later. Okay, so uh, I had sent you the. Picture, I had sent you the pictures of the chapter for those who do not have the book, okay? So please refer that also. All right, so now if you look here at the blackboard, I have certain words, okay? So now when I say what is a sentence? What is a sentence? Sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense okay with the meaning in our in simple words so now sentence is a group of words okay group of words and with a meaning okay it will have a meaning now this is also a group of words right but do you have a meaning in this do you understand anything by it no, right? So, this is not the complete sentence. Though this is your definition of sentence, group of words and you should have a meaning. Okay, It should make sense. You should be able to understand. So, now, if you want to make this as a proper sentence, you can just write, Ram is a good boy. Full stop. Okay, have you noticed starting capital, but this is a noun. So then you will use capital only. You are ending it with a full stop. Okay, so it depends on the different kinds of sentences, whether you will put a full stop, whether you will put a question mark, whether you will put an exclamation mark. Okay, this also <clears throat> I will explain it to you now. I hope this is clear okay sentence definition of sentence in simple words sentence is a group of words with a meaning it should make sense now when these words are like this though they are group of words can you understand by anything by it no right does not make any sense so this is your proper sentence okay i hope this is clear now okay so if you look at the book in page number one rearrange these words to make meaningful sentences use capital letters and correct punctuation marks okay the first one i'll do the first one for you okay handwriting you what have beautiful a uh. so what a beautiful handwriting you have question mark because it is a question okay so you can just try doing this do this in the rough copy and you can click and send it to me so can you try from two three four and five okay these are all jumbled you've done this before so please do not worry okay you've done this right in the you know try to make prop a proper sentence okay out of these jumbled words i hope you are clear with the sentence <clears throat> the meaning of sentence okay all right so now as i told you you have different types or kinds of sentences okay kinds of sentences okay the first one that is given in your book is declarative declarative or assertive Now, when you say declarative, what do you understand by declarative? It's, you know, it says something, gives you some information, okay? So, statements that give you information or, you know, a fact or an opinion. So, look at the example here in the book itself. The woman bought potatoes, right? So, this is more, this is a statement, right? statement opinion facts you know so what did the woman buy the woman bought potatoes okay so if you see you have a full stop so how will you end the sentence here you will end it with a full stop okay now next is uh, imperative imperative sentence okay 
Now, what do you understand by imperative sentence? It gives you an order, command, advice, or it makes a request. Okay. Uh, so, order. It gives you order, command, request. Okay, these are imperative. So, depending on the sentence, it will end with an exclamation or a full stop. Okay, your example that is given here, order, sit down. So, who is who's saying sit down now? To whom? This is your example. Okay, so sit down to you. So, the subject is you here. Okay, so this is, what do you think this is? Is this a request? No, that is an order for you to sit down, okay? The next one is for advice. You should leave early and reach the airport on time. So someone is telling you, if you want to reach the airport on time, you should leave early, okay? Someone is giving you an advice, okay? Request, when you add please, so that is a request. Please close the door, please do this for me. Please put all the dirty dishes in the sink. So request, so all this will come in under imperative sentence, okay? Now, as I told you, it can, depending on the type of the sentence, you can it will it can end with an exclamation all this while we are doing with full stop only sit down full stop you should leave early and reach the airport on time full stop okay so now how how is the sentence spoken so when you say wait for me okay imperative sentence wait for me exclamation okay depends on the sentence all right now, the next one is interrogative sentence. So, when I say interrogative, what do you understand by that? Interrogative sentence, asking questions, okay, in simple words. When you ask questions, now, now, how will you ask a question? I'm sure you know how to ask a question. Where are you going? What are you doing? You know, how, how are you feeling? All these, your what and you know, where, who, all this you will use to ask a question. So, how will you end it? You will end it with a question mark. Okay, so this is your interrogative uh, sentence, you're asking questions and you will end it with a, a question mark, okay. So, the last one, it is your exclamatory. Now, when I say exclamatory, what is it? What are you expressing? You are expressing a strong feeling, emotion, like happiness, joy, sadness, you know. Oh, wow you know such a beautiful dress like that okay so here what big teeth you have that means someone is telling you or you know you have big teeth okay shock looking at your big teeth all right so uh, I'll stop here okay I'll give you some work also to do okay I hope this is clear I'll just do a quick revision sentences group of words which give you the meaning okay which you can understand which makes sense then we did the kinds of sentences okay uh, declarative statement then it will end with a full stop imperative order command request depends on the type of uh, sentence whether it is exclamation mostly it will be full stop only okay end with a full stop interrogative ask questions what are you doing where are you going and all now exclamatory is express strong feelings or emotion like express strong feelings uh, and emotions like happiness anger you know your sadness and all okay so i hope you've understood this okay now go to page number two under learn identify whether these sentences are assertive imperative interrogative or exclamatory okay so for assertive you will write a okay so for uh, imperative i am okay then next is 
interrogative I N and exclamatory is just E. Okay. So I will do the first one for you. Navin went to the airport to drop his mother. So what do you think this is? Under which one will it come? Okay. It is a assertive statement okay that he went to the airport to drop his mother all right so number two i want you to do from two to ten in your book do it in the book click a picture and send it to me in my personal number okay after i check then i'll give you the answers if you're wrong then you do it in your copy i told you to make a new copy right so as soon as you make a new copy start writing in that itself okay so I'm, I'm sure you know how to start a new chapter. You should always write homework date or classwork date, chapter one, sentences, kinds and transformation. Okay. For now, we are doing only kinds of sentences. All right. Now, turn your page. Go to page number three. B, read the passage and identify the sentences as declarative, imperative, interrogative or exclamatory. Same thing. Okay. Same thing. So, it was a cloudy afternoon. So, what is it? Declarative. Okay. So, here in the previous one using A, assertive. Here you are using declarative D. Okay. So, I want you to do for homework this uh, under learn, identify this one whether the sentences are assertive and all. I did the first one. Okay. For you. So, try to do it in the book and the next one, page number three exercise b okay just do it in the book click a picture send it to me okay after i give you the answers then do it in your copy i hope you've understood the chapter if you have any doubts please ask me in my personal number okay thank you stay safe